Hey, this is Avish Parashar, professional speaker and motivational improviser from dinghappens.com. And today what I'm going to do is I want to share with you three things you can do right now to be more improvisational. Now this is not about winging it, throwing away your plans, or just being haphazard or reckless, but rather it's about three things you can do so that when things don't go as planned, when you're forced to improvise, you're able to react quickly and be flexible and stay on track and maybe even improve your condition instead of getting stuck. So number one is to put failure into perspective. Failure is a part of improvisation, right? You might mess up, you're not sure what's going on, you're doing your best. However, too often failure paralyzes us. And that's because we never think it all the way through and ask ourselves, so what? So what? Yeah, you might lose the sale. You might make a fool of yourself. Something might go wrong. You might get in trouble. So what? Now, this is about perspective, not ignoring failure altogether. Because failure is bad. It does have consequences. So it's not about being stupid. But really, if you lose the sale, that would be bad. But so what? It's in jeopardy anyways. You prospect harder. You find another sale. You make a fool of yourself. So what? You laugh about it. A week later, you'll be laughing about it. Put it in perspective. Improv is wrought with failure. The best improvisers take action anyways. Number two, separate editing from creating. In order to improvise, you need to think of new ideas. You need to brainstorm. You need to be fast on your feet. The reason people struggle is because they start generating a new idea, they get creative, and immediately the mind kicks in and starts editing. Is that a good idea? That's not going to work. That's stupid. The problem is that creates a negative energy and stops your flow. Your best bet to be more improvisational is separate the two. Create. Generate a whole bunch of ideas. Don't stop to think whether any of those ideas are any good. Get them out of your head, onto a piece of paper, into an audio recorder. Then, once you've done that and it doesn't take very long, then go back and edit. Then look through that list and say, well, these 20 ideas are stupid, but this one idea might work. It's going to vastly improve your ability to be improvisational by separating the, create, uh, the editing from the creating. Number three, be collaborative. You don't have to do this on your own. In fact, the best improvisation in terms of improv comedy happens when people are really in sync working together. You don't have to figure it all out yourself. You just take the first step. When you need to improvise, say, well, here's something I think we could do. Then get help. Ask others for their input. Again, they don't need to come up with the whole answer themselves. They just need to build off of what you said because that's going to give you a new inspiration. You build off of what they say. You piece together a new solution, which is true collaboration, because neither one of you would have come up with it yourself. It reduces the burden. It opens up your creativity because you're forced to work with someone else. And it truly helps you be improvisational because you're in new territory, building ideas very quickly, working as a team. So try those three things. Start implementing those on a regular basis, even when things aren't going wrong, so you have the practice. Remember those three things again. Number one, put failure into perspective. Number two, separate editing from creation. And number three, be collaborative. If you do these things, three things, you will definitely start being more improvisational. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to talk about how you can be more improvisational, how your team or even your whole organization, be sure to visit my website, dinghappens.com. And if you've got an event coming up, I would love to chat. So shoot me a line, or give me a phone call, and we can talk about how we can bring this to your entire organization or team.